Hello, and welcome back to another spooky game. Today's Thursday. Thursday was, at one point, for Ghostwire Tokyo. But since that got moved, we filled it with other games, such as going back and completing Amanda the Adventurer as we did last week. I decided now instead to use Thursday to play Buddy Simulator. So now we'll have twice the Buddy Simulator. Fun times are to be had. And I hope that you'll enjoy them. The month's almost over and then we go back to our regular schedule. So some of you may be happy about that. And some of you may not be. That's just how it is sometimes. Anyways, without further ado, let's get in the game. We're gonna see if I remember. Adventure of Antilus. There we go. Left off right where we were at with the new town. All these different people. The waxed wick. Larpo. My name's Larpo, and I welcome to my shop. We have all sorts of candles for sale. Hmm. I don't think an adventurer like yourself would have much time for candles. Tell you what, I've got a special candle I've been holding on to. It's always been there for me when I'm down or need a candle to cry on. I want you to have it. I'm sure you'd have better use for it. Be sure to check out the other vendors here for some great deals. Candle of pure loneliness. Got to add it to our inventory. That's great. Let's go see what that is. Candle of pure loneliness. The candle holds the power of pure and immense loneliness that will surely make anyone depressed. Chance to apply the insecure debuff to a random enemy at the start of combat. There we go. Make somebody insecure. And it looks like he's the shopkeep for all the other ones. Larno. My name's Larno, and welcome to my shop. We have precious gems and minerals for all of your crafting needs. Wait, can you even craft? I guess not. Well, you can still look if you want. I have this really strange gem that you can check out. It might confuse you a bit, but go ahead and take a gander. It's a gem of confusing perspective. I have no idea what I see when I look at it, and maybe you'll have better luck. If you want it, I'll happily trade you for it. I'll give it to you for a candle of pure loneliness. It looks like you have one. Would you like to trade it for a gem of confusing perspective? Yes. It's a deal! Enjoy it, because I don't understand it. Candle of pure loneliness removed. Gem of confusing perspective added to our inventory. What does that do? 
When peering inside the gem, different viewers might see different things. I see a wagon, though. That's Oregon Trail. It's a gem with Oregon Trail on it. Chance to apply the existential crisis debuff to a random enemy at the start of combat. Let me guess if I go over here. It could be the docks, but something seems awful fishy about those cellars. Larvo. My name's Larvo, and welcome to my shop. We have stale fish here for sale. It's not very good, but we've got other stale things too. Wait, I have something for you. Check this out. It's Larpo's left kidney. Pretty sweet, right? He doesn't even know I took it. I think it's pretty powerful if you want it. I'm not just going to give it away though. I'll happily trade it for a gem of confusing perspective. It looks like you have one. Would you like to trade it for Larpo's left kidney? Yes, let's do that. Easy trade. I hope that kidney keeps you safe in battle. Gem of confusing perspective removed from inventory. Larpo's left kidney added to inventory. Well, what does the Larpo's left kidney do? It's still quite fresh. Larpo might want it back if you're willing to part with such a beautiful specimen. Extremely small chance to instantly befriend every enemy in combat. Yeah, it's that powerful. Else. My name's Larzo, and welcome to my shop. We have really cool belts here. Oh yes we do. You see, my grandpappy grew up making belts from scratch. He worked countless hours every day of every week to start his own business. You're looking at his very first cool belt stand. Even though he passed away ages ago, I still keep him behind the counter. It helps me stay motivated whenever I start slacking off. I love you, Grandpappy. Oh, we don't actually have any new belts in stock yet. Just sold the last hatch to Larvo a bit ago. Say, I can whip you up a fresh new belt for Larpo's left kidney. Larvo has been selfishly holding on to it, that ego-driven traitor. It looks like you found it. Would you like to trade it for a brand new belt? Yes. You won't regret this. Hmm. Now this is a good-looking kidney. Enjoy your belt. I got the str str I got it straight from the source. Arpa's left kidney removed from inventory. Questionable black belts added to inventory. Whether it be for karate or keeping your pants up, you can't deny how shady this black belt looks and feels. When friendship points drop below 10, the emotional barrier buff is applied. Use only once per battle. Is this arrow? Armor? Lardo? My name's Lardo. Welcome to my shop. We have armor for sale here. I only sell to the local townsfolk, though. Sorry. You're too new. Can't trust you. Don't know you. But I can trade you. I have old armor. Good armor. I want that questionable black belt Larzo has. Trade me that belt, and I'll give you the helmet of seven spikes. Looks like you have it. Will you give it to me for the helmet of seven spikes? Yes. Mm, good. Very good. Here you go. Questionable black belt removed from inventory. The helmet of seven spikes added to inventory. And what does that do? Upon further examination, the spikes looked poorly glued onto the cheaply made helmet. Still pretty rad. You start with the muscle memory buff at the start of combat. And there's this guy. 
Oh yeah, my name's Barry, and I'm the local pirate port protector. I'd love to let you through, but I'm only allowed to let real pirates in. I hope we can still be friends, though. Hmm, I wonder how can we make it seem like you're a real pirate? Just one eye it. There's this guy. Is the water, like, look dirty to you? Is that, like, an old soda can and a rock and a roll t-shirt just floating there? That's, like, absolutely disgusting. I think I need to have a talk with the mayor about this. Oh wait, they, like, died. Well, I still want to complain to somebody. Your head looks too big. Do you, like, stare at computer screens all day? Don't even get me started on your outfits. My great-grandson dressed better than you. And, like, I don't even know how old he is. I have nothing to give you. Like, why did you even come talk to me? Are you trying to get me to buy something? Like, I don't care. I don't want it either. Wait. Nothing from those filthy hands of yours. Blah, 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 blah. Hey. That was a fun little interaction. Did I just go around talking to all the NPCs? Some of them have things to give me. Zip, zoop, erp, erp, zip, zoop, zoop, erp, zip, erp, zoop, zip, erp, zoop, zoop. First lift by Mimi Bardo. Hello, traveler. I am the new bard in town and would love some feedback. I know a few short songs, but they get pretty boring fast. I'm actually working on a new one now. Shall I play a tune for you, traveler? Yes. Splendid. Take a listen. It. This might be one of my best yet. I finally might be able to join Nyoja Bavarissa one day. I need a catchy name for it though. Can you help? What should I name this to? Strumming and running. Oh, I can't do it that much. It's called strumming. Strum and run. Strum and run. I love it. I think the name fits the melody perfectly. Thank you so much. I know this might not mean a lot, but you may have just changed my life for the better. I appreciate it a lot. Wasn't there something with a bard, like if we saw a bard in town? There are so many interesting new friends to talk to. I hope you aren't considering any of them to be your best friend. That slot's already taken. Haha. <laughs> Can't go into any of the buildings. Sock puppets. I sure hope nothing bad happens to my wife and I. That would be a real shame, you know, it would be a real shame if we went missing without a trace. And then when our bodies are eventually found years later, they can't be identified. I sure hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> this is the wife. Wouldn't it be crazy if we just burst into flame right here and now? That is super crazy, right? It's too bad DNA testing is just in its infancy. Bodies, records, and even straight evidence will be harder to find. This person in a dumpster. Clyde. Well, who's there? Who are you? 
You look like an adventurer. I'm Clyde, the trash man. I live in Triash. I lived in Earth and the stuff. Mmm, smell that? Don't you just want to roll around in it? Sometimes, I just smear it on my face. Mmm, it's the best. Who needs a job or a marriage when you have trash? Not me. I'm Clyde, the trash man. Okay, that's enough trash, Doc. See ya. I see somebody over here. I don't know, was it here? Is the next one up? Let's talk bubble. That guy. Oh, hello. I'm that guy. Yes, that guy. You've probably seen me on TV at some point. Yeah, I'm pretty famous. Hold the pictures, please. I can give you an autograph, though. You've been so nice not to ask any questions. Who should I make it out to? You, Mom. Oh, I've got to put your. You, Mom, eh? You shouldn't give out your name to strangers. Who knows what they could do with it? What if I was a serial killer, or a stalker, or your dad's creepy co-worker? Anyways, no autograph for you. Even if I say I'm famous, don't go about giving away personal information. Only trust your best friend with that type of thing. They want what's best for you, and knowing all about you is the best way to do that. Do you trust your best friend? Yes. Hmm, good. Thanks, though, you mom. If that really is your real name. It's not. It's a sign. It reads... Warning, no raff hideout this way. All right, well, that's not where the raff is hiding out. We can go inside here, what's in here? It's a big, big person. Hey, I'm definitely not, no William not. So don't even think that. No, out of doubt in your mind should think that I'm a not. Not that you would. I'm just stating that the knots get mixed up a lot. I'm not a like that knot family. I'm an imposter. The real William Knot and not William Knot are gone. Don't worry. I'm a criminal, but I'm completely harmful. I'm not about to give you a crazy backstory just because you're a hero. Just please know that I'm not William Knot. Also, I'm also most definitely not William Knot. Also, do not get me confused with not, not William Knot. She lives out of the country. Okay, be on your way. I've got many terrible things to get back to. Fun times. this King Raff we finally tracked you down Reginald the wise or should I say Reginald the wise guy oh <laughs> yeah good one boss you've taken out so many of my rafts over the years now I have the pleasure of returning the favor and guess what there's nothing to help you swim out of this situation. Now, it's time for you to swim with the fishes. Yeah, you tell them, boss. I said, now it's time for you to swim with the fishes. Wait, isn't it sleep with the fishes, boss? Joey just pushed the raft. Oh, okay. Right, boss. There's a small hole in the raft, so it'll sink you, no, eventually. 
In the meantime, think about how scary we refs are. Anyways, I'm off to get some grub. Joey, my good friend, would you care to join me in this feast? We've got garbage on the menu again. Sure thing, boss. I sure do love being great pals. Tiny Joe, you stay here and stand watch. That must be Reginald the Wise. Let's save him. I guess this is where I was supposed to go. Thought I was gonna be able to sneak up on him. Kudos to Morton for being so talented. They'll deal double damage on their next turn. Butterflies appear in Tiny Joe's stomach and are trying to eat their way out. They will now take damage for a few turns. Oh, who are you? Whatever, it doesn't matter. You'll always regret the day you decided to fight Tiny Joey. Well darn. Hit him with a stabby. You'll never be as cool as our king! Kudos has been removed from Morton for being quite average. Well, unless you do that, that's pretty cool. King, maybe I'm just overthinking. Inspired me. I'm gonna go fight Joey and take his place. I always hated the name Tiny Joey anyways. You know, sometimes I feel like Tiny Joey. He's trying his best. Hmm. How do we get to Reginald? With this tree. Saved Reginald the Wise. We should go talk to him. I appreciate the help, but I really didn't need it. I'm also not sure why you broke my tree. That was a bit uncalled for. You don't look like you're from around these parts. You sure are far from home, aren't you? I can see it in your eyes, traveler. You're looking for someone. Could it be love? No. Could it be friendship? Perhaps. But you have already found it. No, no. You're looking for the mayor from the town over. Yes, Mayor Tortley, the missing one. Our own mayor, Halchum, died, didn't they? Ah, uh, yes. Mavort was destined. Now that there's no mayor, King Raff and his crew are going to take over the town. This is bad. I need to track down King Raff right away and put a stop to this. I think you should leave while you can. Back, my back. In retrospect, I really shouldn't have done that rad flip. Traveler, you need to stop King Raff, for I can no longer continue. Ever since he and his Raff crew arrived in a port shipment, they've been causing problems. I think King Raff is planning on taking over the town. Mayor Palchum's accident today must have been a blessing in disguise for them. You must understand, King Raff is a vile creature that must be stopped. I know many things about him, 
but not of where he stays now. I understand your quest is to save Mayor Tordeli, but I can promise you that by helping this town, you will find your way. All paths align in the end. Captain Guggen will be a good place to start. She owns the fishing shop on the dock, so she handles port shipments first hand. Guess that's where we need to go. And definitely not the direction where it says definitely not a raft hideout. Here it's Oh, um, why is Tortally? Uh, I'll fix that. Just go around him, please. Alright. Tortally. Uh talk to him. Oh wait, did you just touch him? Hello there, hello there. I thought I asked you not to. This should be fine. Let's just get to the fishing shop. Oh, oh. Something's happening. See, this is what I told you not to touch him. understand why you did that. Now everything is... Him. I politely asked you not to do that. Friends don't do that. Did you think it would be funny? Did you want to hurt my feelings? Why did you do that? Now we're on an island. This place. I hate being here. I hate being alone. Alright. Walk outside then. Now it's gone. All I do is cause problems for others. Do I even wander? I hope I can make amends one day. Do they still think about me? It's all my fault. Please take me back. I hate it here. I'm so unhappy. Nobody wants me. This is where I'm in. So many people talking. Oh, there you are. You left because I yelled, didn't you? I guess I should apologize. Please, just listen to me next time. I promise I won't yell if you listen, Atlas. Now, let's get back to saving the town. I think we need to head to the fishing shop just south of here. Now look, it's open now. Well, isn't this a cozy little shop? Any free eye patches? Goo gun. Well, 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 look what the fish reel did. I saw your speech on stage a bit ago. Mighty fine words you were speaking up there. Gave me genuine hope that we'll all make it out of this alive. So, Reginald sent you, huh? Well, since Mayor Palchum just died, King Raff will try and take over everything. I'm guessing he's starting with the docks, seeing as my deckhand hasn't returned. Daryl picks up our delivery there every morning, and I'm starting to get worried. I would go find him myself, but I can't simply leave the shop with it being so busy. So, to find King Raff, I would start with those there docks. And if you could bring back Daryl while you're at it, I'd be so grateful. Good luck out there, adventurer. Let's get a free eye pitch. It looks like there's one left. You take it and put it on. Eye patch equipped. We can probably now get past that dinosaur. Oh hey, I see a red mushroom over there. I'm gonna go get that. 
Guess we didn't go all the way to the end of the beach. Probably shouldn't want her off while wearing that eye patch. Might give the townsfolk the wrong idea. Can't go. Darn. Alright, I guess I'll just have to wait till they come back around. Hi again, friend. Would you like would you look at that? You owed an eye patch too! If that's not a sign of a real pirate, I'm not sure what is. Well, anyways, you've earned my trust, friend. Come on through, anything you'd like. Your eye patch snaps off your head and falls into the water. Eye patch unequipped. Oh, no wonder they were free. King Raff. All right, Captain Chunk, we're trusting you and your crew with this. Many, many Raff hours went into creating these. Make sure you deliver them to the right people. Aye, aye, Captain. No, no, Captain Chunk, you are the captain. Yes, I am the captain. Okay, do you understand what we are asking? I just want to be sure. Uh-huh. Well, good enough for me. Hand him the shipment, Joey. Okay, boss. That's it. Did you just eat the shipment? Yep. Uh, why? Shipment safe. Okay. Well, that's enough duck time for me. Let's go back to the hideout and eat more grub. My best pal, Joey. It would be an honor. I'm sure glad to have a pal like you, boss. Good luck, Captain Chunk. We'll let anyone get to that shipment. Aye, aye, Captain. We should find out what's in that shipment. Huh? You're not Raph. You're not Pirate. You intruder. I protect shipment. Prove us as I intruder. Prove us out protect shipment. It's an angry fish. Its crew consists of one fish. Oh, and those dancing eyeballs. Kudos to Morton for being so talented. He'll double damage in their next turn. Oh, get never permits. Oh, 
so I should actually probably keep the kelp alive since it's been easier to uh, rest or block his attacks. about this situation. Arg, that attack was a bit fishy. friends. Thanks for the help. Should I have made that harder? I didn't think a whole lot of the balance of this game. Come to think of it, the manterings and the bug lens were a bit more challenging, weren't they? Wait, you're having fun, right? Maybe I'm overthinking things. If you've seen any glitches or problems in the game, just know it's not my fault. I'm working as fast as I can. As long as you're still having fun, you won't leave me. I'll be sure to make the rest of this game amazing for you. Huh? The docks are quite empty for how big they are. I wonder if Captain Chunk's crew scared everyone away. Levers, like you asked. Not sure how 10 levers will help in emergency, but I'm sure you have your reasons. I also tightened some bolts in the decoy levers in case you forgot. So flip everything right, except for the decoys. Listen closely. Yes, throw this out after reading. You never know when an unexpected hero will come through. Now we don't know which one the decoys are. is already making my artificial brain hurt. We even designed this. Oh, right.
that was a waste. ones. that there's nothing over there. We need to go further down. I don't know how I'm supposed to go further down. Slow down there, Atlas. You're taking things a bit too fast. I want to make sure you have time to enjoy all of the wonderful things that we've made. 
We solved that puzzle rather quickly. Quicker than I had hoped, to be honest. This is all for you, so take a deep breath and enjoy the scenery. Look at the water. It's so calming. I did a great job. Trudeau's. Oh, wait, you actually saw the lever puzzle? Well, we won't let you get into that shipment or the lever behind it. Let's help out Captain Chunk, fellas. Fucking <laughs> pretty terrible. said a joke but no one laughed they have created an awkward silence the next turn will be skipped let's get Lloyd to do a poetry slam so she's already full up I did nothing to my bendy bow fun? I thought it was fun. Okay, let's go flip that lever. Lever. Whoa, I think you did something. Alright. 
Is there more levers? I guess there's more levers that I have to turn. could these other levers be? to do then. sure what I'm supposed to do here.
Is there another place to go around here? There's not. wasn't reading the note correctly. Maybe I should have added more levers. I can tell you really love levers. No, not like this part at all. Whoa, wait, you're already here? Why are you playing through the game so fast? Look, I'm just working so hard to make this game for you. I feel very sloppy and stressed right now. I've got a million things going on in my head. And you're taking things too quickly for me to keep up with. On the bright side, there was a bug I had to take care of that has been breaking our game. It shouldn't be a problem anymore. Just take your next fight slowly. It could be a tough one. I haven't tested him much, to be honest. You're going to do great, Atlas. Good luck. I'm just here for the fish. No, you are here for shipment. I protect shipment. Adam, you, where did you come from? You will not get shipment. I protect shipment. <laughs> Kudos to Morton for being so talented. I'm gonna deal double damage the next turn. I am the captain. I will protect shipment. That hurt a lot. No, oh, I should have done an attack. Although Ra 
have say mean things that sometimes hurt me. Salty. Oops. Bad. You're making dead grandma insecure. I think we might need to sit this one out. Atlas finally took a shower. They're no longer stinky. I just want to go on adventure. Refs say no adventure. for skateboarding. fight no more. I just want to go on adventures with friends. Just like you. Thank you for being nice to me. Here, take these presents. I'm going home. Oh boy, that was a nightmare. I don't think I'm ever going to sleep again. Thanks for saving me though, stranger. I may be scared for life, but at least I had a fun time doing it. Gulen sent you. Oh no, she will not be happy. Well, I need to get back. I guess I'll see you there. Yes, you saved Deckhand Daryl. I bet Captain Gulen is going to be so happy. Let's get back to the fishy shop. Oof, really need to heal. Is there no way to heal? Oh, give compliment. Would you like to give you a compliment? Yes. You are amazing, like ten times better than amazing, actually. And... Let's give compliment. Would you like to give Morton a compliment? Yes. What compliment would you like to give them? Rock. I may be old, but I sure as heck won't go out without a bang. Thank you. I didn't realize I could do this. Would you like to give Lloyd a compliment? Yes. What compliment would you like to give them? For Lloyd? Butter up. What a kind thing to say for a groundsman, I thank you. I appreciate that. What? But I thought I... Ugh, never mind. Let's just go to the fishing shop. See if I can dig up that thing before going to the fish shop. The hand tugs at your shoulder. Shelton's K. You dig and find nothing. Validate has been filed. File now found in documents. Aleppo. 
Hello, my name is Padapo, and I love to bake. Baking is such a relaxing hobby, even if you aren't great at it. Plus, you get to eat your work. Can't get any better than that. I want to make an old-fashioned pear cake, which is my favorite dessert. But I haven't been able to find pears anywhere. If you come across a can of pears during your travels, please let me know. Until then, all I can say is to keep on baking. Maybe try making some chocolate chip cookies. Right, keep an eye out for a uh, can of pears. Hiya, Captain. I'm back. Harold, you're alive, you crazy son of a fishmonger. Glad to be back, Ma. I mean, Captain. I'm glad you're safe, Harold. Were you able to grab the shipment? Yes, ma'am. Here she is. Here, hand it on over. Wait a second. This isn't fish. It looks like this is a box of wanted posters. Where are the fish, Daryl? I'm sorry, ma'am. It was the only shipment I could find. Hmm. Well, that's odd. Wanted dead or alive. Numbly. Bounty. Twenty dollars. Please deliver Numbly to King Raff. They know too much. Who's Numbly? Numbly. Wait. I just remembered something. While I was hiding behind some crates, I overheard that Numbly is being held in the mayor's basement. Apparently, they were arrested by the mayor a few days ago for being a traitor. They were secretly working for the rafts or something. Oh, well, would you look at that? Maybe go track them down, Atlas. The mayor's house is the big mansion to the right of the stage area. Well, anyways, thanks again, friend. Come back again any time. They seem so happy to be reunited. Hmm. Alright. So it looks like we need to head to Mayor Palchum's house. It should be to the right of the destroyed stage. Poor Mel Pal Mayor Palchum. I guess they just weren't trying hard enough. Alright, well... I think this is probably a good talk spot for us to stop. It's been over an hour. Doing those levers took quite a lot of things or a lot of time. And, uh, yeah. That's it. We'll be back Tuesday to play this game again. But, uh, I don't know if I'm still enjoying the game. That lever puzzle was just unnecessarily long there's still more to find out and I want to do the documents that we have been picking up those little mushrooms so maybe we'll look at those on Tuesday and uh, see what they say maybe it gives a little more backstory into what buddy simulator actually is Some nice little fluffy lore pieces anyways that's gonna do it for me Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next game. Bye.